Check it out of yours. Oh, I've got Wi Fi in here now. Check that out. Full signal. Oh, um, I've actually just uh, got the crappy Rayleigh dongle and put them on the computer in my bedroom and swapped it with this um, Comfast one. I just wanted to see what it was like because this Comfast one's got quite a big antenna on it and it helps. Check it out, all the way over here in the caravan, the man cave, I've got at least 50% signal strength. The big antenna like that, it helps. I tried to mod the other dongle, but the other dongle just doesn't have an arm anywhere that there's an antenna port in the board that I could have soldered to. So I decided to swap it with this one. The other heap of bloody railing heap of crap sounded good for when you're really close to the radar. That's all it's good for. But this one is good for long range. It's not too bad. 98% quality, 48% strength, signal strength. When I get the new um, access router, I should have a lot, a lot more strength than that again. Because the um, this Netcom wireless one's a bit weak by today's standards. The access one that's coming is going to have a lot more power. So I should have 100% signal strength out here. I'll be able to uh, do some gaming in my man cave and. Um, yeah, full detail with IT involved, teardowns and stuff. I can Google stuff here on the spot and show you, like um, Ed Aussie 50 does. So, you've got to have a PC in your man cave, a good internet access. Otherwise, it's just not a man cave. A couple of friends on Steam, Ed and Aussie 50, uh, Ed and uh, High One Voltage One Rules, and Shmoe Way. Those of you who haven't fought me on Steam, I use my same account there. It's, the name's the same. So. Same name on Steam as it is on YouTube. So if you're on, if you're on Steam and gaming, you yeah, have me as a friend. On my games. All those games are my main uh, machine, but yeah, I might put one or two of the best ones on this machine too. It's on this uh, old hard drive, which hasn't got much space left. That's the old 500 gig Seagate. Yeah. Mainly I've got, I've got Steam on this one. Served up on this machine because I can play the Carmageddon's on here. Good games, but man, very addictive. <laughs> I'm addicted to those games, something bloody chronic. Carmageddon reincarnation doesn't want to boot, the splash screen so shows up and it just sits there and doesn't do anything. I wish I'd bloody fix that. Buy on that and spend the money to buy that game, only to find it doesn't bloody work, it's bloody annoying. But I came with that and that too, so. Come on, all the original Carmageddon's and the Carmageddon 2. Yeah, fun games to mod. Good uh, car racing game with absolutely no rules and violent, pretty violent too. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, I just got to set up a TV antenna for this computer so I could use a media center for TV in here and put signals into stuff so I could test these in here. Anyway. That's the main cave all set up and ready for Wi-Fi, which is good. So get this bloody card ready to work. Then I can start doing direct uploads from here. Okay, well, I'm not buying cheap radiator caps ever again. This was a CPC brand bloody radiator cap, like the genuine one. And Dave Wicked XC is right, you've got to be very picky when you're buying these. Because at first it was only, uh, I haven't wanted to buy it. Well, let's see, I bought that. Uh, when I did the, I changed the water pump because initially this thing had a nasty squeak. I could not find what it was. It was like a bad bearing squeak. Thought it was a tensioner. I changed that. Picked out more. Picked out more. Maybe it was the atom matter. So I changed the atom matter. Still squeaking. Maybe it's a power steering pump. Changed that. And it's still squeaking. What, I, what, I, what it was is that um, the I had an Argentinian made, fan belt. Um, I can't remember what brand it was, but it was a pretty good brand. And the back of it must have been glazed from the factory. What it was doing, it was squealing on this um, back of this tensioner. There was this all along, because I picked, I, I did that, all the tricks to pinpoint exactly where the squeak was coming from. I could not find it. But I had, um, I had, a, spare, I had a spare water pump and everything in the and everything in hand, so I sort of thought, why not change them over anyway? For the purpose of troubleshooting, but it was this um, back of the belt was glazed from the factory and it was uh, slipping on this tensioner. 
Because when it was wet, I wet it and it stopped. And it says the um, water slung off and dried, it started squeaking again. It sounded exactly like a, um, a bearing squeak. It was bloody deceiving, I tell you. So that changed leads, it changed any plugs, did a full service on this thing, it runs really well now. Yeah, I gotta. I reckon I'm gonna get one of another new, another car and put it on here. Because I gotta run on another Commodore. The cap's in pretty damn good condition, and it's gonna swap it over. Because it leaks under this rivet. I've got this um, battery on a good trickle charge. There's nothing wrong with it, but I thought, well, let's see what the um, health check of this uh, charger does. Got to 75 percent. It was actually this battery was actually on 75 percent charge after um, just a 15 minute drive of town and back this morning. So it was a little you know, play just sits overnight. Obviously, it gets a little bit. It's only electrics in the unit's got to run, but anyway. It's only a light trickle charge on this, just to give a good health check. The desulfate has been in here for the last six months, it's not the last six months, and it's doing its job. I do check these batteries frequently, make sure that the, um, the product does what it does, and yeah, it is doing what it's doing. So if you want a good, want a good trickle charge, you get one of these. Saves power. It keeps my, um, it's kept my other batteries in storage in good nick for a long time, so I just had this on here for the last half an hour just to see what its health check function's like, and all it's doing is trickling, so, yeah, the batch is good. I did it against my tester, my tester said the battery was 80%, so, yeah, it's all good. It's a 600 CCA, I recommend a 600 CCA minimum for something like this. It's a small car, basic car, Commodore, 600 CCA. You get the longest uh, run time out of it. Anyway, let's uh, swap this nasty radio to cap over. Oh, your towel's falling off. Now I've done everything, I even changed the thermostat in this thing. Yeah, see it's got the metal rivet. The original ones have a plastic rivet. Yeah, that's what's going on, that metal rivet leaks, and it leaks through under here, seeps under here. This one here, just not holding bloody pressure properly. And that's an aftermarket one, bought at Autobahn. You can see the difference. Go for the one with the plastic in the middle, not this bloody crap. There are worse than that out there too, so you've got to be careful which radiator caps you buy. Let's see if it tests properly. If you have things like this connected to your battery, these things can throw up an odd error in the reading. But let's see what it does. 600 cold cranking amp. Yeah, I test this pretty frequently just to make sure things are doing the right job and keep the battery, uh, keep an eye on it. Six milliohms. That's much lower than what it was. It was about 6.9. So really, a brand new battery is about four and five milliohms in that range. So the battery's about uh, just on three years old now, I think. 90%. Yeah, that's better. Almost five other cold quick now, so live it up for a little bit longer. It's only a trick or charging the battery, so. It was about here before, after a, after a 20 minute drive. And when using these testers, especially these Centec ones, put it on the terminal posts themselves, not on here, because of wiring in the arm. Um, that goes to your battery, has resistance, and it throws up an error reading and gives you an odd reading. It would say something like two cold cranking amps or 20 cold cranking amps and saying your battery's buggered when actually it's not. So just take note of that sort of thing. It's quite a good little tester. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.